Welcome back to the Broadway show. I'm Tamsin Fidel. Let's get back to it. Danny DeVito makes his Broadway return next month, starring alongside his daughter Lucy in I Need That, a new comedy about a recluse who either has to clean up his property or get kicked out. Let's check back in with Paul Wontorek. That's right, Tamsin. Danny and Lucy DeVito are teaming up on Broadway this fall in I Need That. I sat down with them to find out more about this new family dramedy. How exciting, Broadway together. I've seen yeah. you both do theater, but Broadway together. Yeah. What does yeah, it mean for this, the family? This is really it's unbelievable. ringing the bell. Yeah, we're so yeah. excited. Very. So It's so cool. And a play created during COVID about getting comfortable in the surroundings of your Space. own home yeah, so much yeah. and not wanting, I mean, it's kind yeah. of the perfect play not, to come yeah, out of not, that. Yeah. Not wanting to let go of anything. It's not far from home in, in that way because I, uh, I do have a lot of things that I get attached to and for various reasons. And uh, that's basically the dilemma that she has to deal with. I'm a little obsessive about my things. What about creating an onstage father-daughter dynamic? Because you, you do play um, Sam's daughter. Mm -hmm. How does your own personal relationship help inform when you're working together on a play that's so much about these relationships? This is like amazing to be <laughs> with her. So, you know, we are discovering now. We started just started rehearsal and we are discovering all kinds of stuff. And, uh, you know, we're gonna, We'll have a lot more to say in a couple of months yeah, when we're up there. You know, after we're, uh, you know, we've been up there for a little bit. It's but, an exploration. Uh, you know, I mean, I think that Amelia and Sam are similar, but also very different from who we are. So I think um, there is, we're going to bring like the things that we can relate to and then, you know, build on top of that. At least you're going in knowing you like your co-star. We have yeah, a, right? we have a, yeah, we we have <laughs> yeah, we're not fighting over a dressing room because I get the best one. <laughs> yeah, I'm the old man. Yeah, 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 you don't want the guy climbing stairs. I'm gonna put him in that dressing room over there. So I heard a little uh, about a month ago this is a play about a hoarder. And then I walked in here and I was told it's not a play about a hoarder. So I guess I guess that word kind of has a lot of weight to well, it. I think it's a, it's a word that has a lot of weights. Do you know what I mean? Like, is that a word you're gonna sort of throw on yourself? Is it a word that, you know? Right. Uh, it, it's about your relationship to stuff. And it's about whether that accumulation of a lifetime's worth of stuff leaves you living inside of a museum or a prison. Uh, and potentially neither of those are places you would wanna live. But uh, in some ways it's really a question of uh, how how do we survive, or or do we thrive because of the stuff that we surround ourselves with? I'm excited to see the set design. Yes, Alexander Dodge did a terrific set. I'm assuming there won't be any flat cats, and there won't. It's not in. We're not doing this in Odorama, correct? This is a. <laughs> this, well, I don't know. It depends on the audience sitting around you, I suppose. <laughs> but um, uh, no, it is an Odorama in the in the John Waters sense. But it. it uh, I think there, but I don't think he's like living in that level of filth. Right. I think it's actually right. much more of a kind of museum to his life. Right. And as you right. can imagine, Danny is an amazing eccentric right. who has encountered a number of stories over the course of his life. We just need some boxes, not a deep cleaning crew. That's, that's right. I've been addicted to a lot of television shows the um, very different different ends of the extreme. There was a show called Clean House that was on years yes. ago, which was sort of a very friendly, light version. And then you go to like something like Hoarders, where you right. But I know all about the emotions, right? It's right. all about the emotions of these people hanging on to things, right? Yes, that's sort of the the germ of this, right? Yeah, I mean, it was it was interesting. I I, re I, I did watch a bunch of those hoarder shows, and they frightened me. So this is closer to I think the way a lot of people live, where we gather things and hold on to them because they've become precious to us over time. And then at a certain point, you feel like uh, you, you have to clear that out. Um, but you, it's, a, it's truly a mixed feeling, you know? You don't want to let go of something that's got deep meaning for you. Uh, and then Marie Kondo shows up and says, yes, get rid of all of it. Much of our history is is, is inhabits these things and that they help access our memories, you know, and, sure. and, the, and our past. And it's funny, <laughs> you know, and uh, partially because Danny, once he gets on this track, uh, he'll tell stories forever. And, and so he kind of proves my point, you know, like if you, you, you 
you say, hey, what's that on your desk? He'll just go into, you know, hours of talking. He has a huge, vivid memory that is exciting to access. Teresa writes great modern plays. Yes. Talk a little bit about her writing and what's it been like uh, exploring this play. I know you've been part of the development of it as well. Well, it, you know, what I like is is that she she takes uh, whatever impetus we bring to it and she tries to work that in, you know. But she's inspiring, you know. And, and every now and then she says, let's just, you know, what, what, maybe you have something better to say here, you know. And I say, oh, I like that, but I, I don't know that you want to trust me writing your play, you know. But uh, she, she's a wonderful craftsperson and a playwright of the first order. I gotta say, I've been a longtime fan of the DeVito Perlman acting dynasty. <laughs> uh, and I gotta say, the family's killing it right now. I mean, your mom and first of all, the know, Barbie movie. I the, know. The, like the most successful movie of, in, of all, of all time. She was just at Lincoln Center. You know, you two are back on stage here. But this is your Broadway debut. It is. The, there you God, go. do you have any tips there you for go. her to navigate Broadway? Well, well, yeah, what you, know, you got for me? Don't upstage me. All right, all right, yeah. No, I won't block kidding. your light. It's fine. Yeah, stay out of my, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, go, you know, move over. Move oh, over yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. What are you I'll doing? give you your moment. All right, all right. 